Tahniah. Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia. Sebuah inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia. Tumbukan perhatian anda. Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi. Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini. Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan. Terima kasih. Hello and hi everyone. Okay, welcome to Pusat Tuition Academic YouTuber. Bermula percuma. Selama-lamanya percuma. How are you kids over there? Did you hope everyone fine? Okay. I saw many uh, good comment, positive comments at the live chat section here. Okay, good. <laughs> Keep it up. Okay. My name is uh, Madam Sumati. Okay, as all of you know, every Monday we have English lesson at 3.30 p.m. Okay, all right. Mm. Okay, let me introduce our teacher for today's lesson. We have Madam Zeti. Hi, Madam Zeti. Okay. From SK Tambun Tulang Arau Perak, we are now live on Madam Zeti's channel. Okay, please support her channel by clicking subscribe button now, as well as other teachers. And together with us, we also have uh, Madam Suryani. Okay, Madam Suryani, how are you? Hello, fine, good. <laughs> See you again. Okay. To ensure the smoothness of our lesson. Okay. The today's topic will be on all about. For your information, this class is about an hour. So, be sure to pay attention and follow the class till the end. All right. Okay. Regarding the certificate link, it will be given at the end of the lesson please use edd account as well when you fill in your particulars <clears throat> and uh, please pay attention and fill in the form correctly within the time limit given to you okay so without any delay let's welcome madam zeti madam zeti the stage is yours please welcome Hi, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Hopefully everyone is doing awesome at home. And um, okay, did you guys have lunch already? Hopefully everyone is full and uh, have so much energy to start the lesson for today. Okay, but before we start the lesson, uh, how about we recite uh, Al Fatiha first for all Muslims, okay? Al Fatiha. All right. So, can anybody comment? Did you guys can can you guys hear me clearly without any? Uh, noisy sound, something like that. Is my voice clear enough? All right. Okay, very good. Yes. All right. So, uh, before we start with the lesson, just a few quick reminder for all of you. Uh, please stay focused on the lesson up until the end. And don't worry, the CJ will be given at the end of the lesson. We won't forget about that. If if I forget, uh, if the teachers forget to give you the link, please remind us in the chat section. No worries. All right. And then please uh, make sure to mind your language. Make sure that you use positive language. And uh, please show good manners towards your friends and all the teachers uh, in the studio right now. So uh, I am 
happy because I have my friends accompanying me in the studio right now and I have you guys also today. So without, without wasting any time, let's get started with the class today. Uh, let me share my screen first, yeah? Let me share my slide. All right, wait, wait a second. Okay. All right. So, English for primary school today is with me, Madam Zeti. Some of you might have already known, uh, might have already known me. Okay, wait, is my slide full screen or not? Is it full screen? No, no. Just is it? Uh, uh, slideshow. Yeah, I use it. Wait, wait. I'll stop sharing and I share again. Okay. okay. Wait, uh, no worries. It's already full screen on my laptop. <laughs> okay, wait. Right. Is it in? It's still not full screen. Okay, never mind. Can everyone see the slides? I don't know why it's not getting full screen. <laughs> Let me try one more time. Sorry for the delay. Wait a second. All right, wait. But before that, you guys can uh, comment uh, in the chat section. The topic for today is actually about apostrophe S. So do you know uh, what is apostrophe S used for? Tell me in the chat section. Wait, huh? All right, wait. I'll start the slide one more time. Sorry for the delay. All right, and now full screen. Okay, it's still not full screen here. Okay, it's still not full screen. <laughs> But I think you guys can see lah the slide because it's big. My my apa my my writings are big enough. Can you guys see the slide? Okay, it's readable. <laughs> it's readable lah. <laughs> <huh>? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't know what's happening because I can usually I can maximize it easily. Oh. But never mind. Okay, so as you know that we have two uh, English teachers that will be teaching the Monday English class uh, English class at 3.30 like today. So last week you were with Miss Ayn and today you are with me, with, uh, Madam Zeti. Alright, so but... As for now, we also have uh, all uh, more than one classes in a week. Uh, we have like for today in uh, this week, we have five classes. We have five teachers that are going to teach you. Okay, so stay tuned for that because you are going to learn so much about English this week alone. All right, like for tom uh, tomorrow, we have. English class with teacher Maggie, and then uh, Wednesday again with Miss Ayn. Thursday, we have class with Madam Sumati, and on Friday, we have class with Madam Sreni. So watch out for the uh, the info, and do check out academyyoutuber.com for all the latest updates, all right? All right, so who am I? All right, some of you have already known me, as Madam Zeti, but I can see some new faces 
new faces in my class lah. Alright, so but let me introduce myself. First, my name is uh, Zatusi Shaman Binti Naim. That is why my, my channel's name is Zatusi Naim. But everyone, my students, all of my students call me Madam Zeti. So you are, you guys are also my students. So you can also call me Madam Zeti. So I leave, I'm teaching in SK Tambun Tulang Arau Perlis. I live, I, or, I come from Kuala Lumpur. But right now, I'm living in Kanga Perlis and I have been teaching English for 12 years. Why I can't talk today? Maybe because the technicalities make me so nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Hopefully, you can still read my slides. Okay. So, um, this one. Ha, what is this? Some of you have already heard this one before. So I'm going to sing you a song. This is not a new song actually, but I think this can be our class theme lah. Can ah? <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? I'm not good ah. Hopefully still merdu lah. And again, hopefully tak hujan at you guys punya places. Okay, let me find my comfortable position first. Okay, ready? One, two, three. It's time for class today. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's learn English today. Are you ready? Cause I am ready. This class gonna be interesting. Gotta have so much fun in learning. Come and come, come and come and listen. Stay until the end. Gotta hit that like and subscribe. Cause it definitely make me smile. Thank you for joining me today. Keep me company. Thank you. Thank you. For keeping me company. English with Adam Zeti. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so with that, we are going to start our lesson properly. So today's topic is going to be about apostrophe S. Ah, but don't get confused with the apostrophe S that you have learned in Miss Ain's class. It's going to be different. Ah, the Kegunaan dia berbeza, although it's the same thing, apostrophe S, but apostrophe has S ni ada a few uh, usage, kegunaan in English, right? So, uh, apostrophe. So, this thing is called an apostrophe. Koma kecil yang dekat atas tu, we call it as apostrophe. Uh, so, next time when your teacher... Uh, uh, talk about this and then you understand that apostrophe means uh, comma yang di atas tu, right? And then, next one. Okay, so apostrophe S is used for two things. Uh, it First, it is used for contractions like what Miss Ayn have taught you um, last Monday. Yeah? Last Monday, I think. And then the second one, it is used for possessions to show possessions all right so for contractions for example like she's he's it's this means dia dipendekkan daripada she is ah uh, they turn into she's and then he is dia jadi he's and then it is dia jadi is all right next one but we are not going to focus on apostrophe S for contractions because obviously you have learned with Miss Ayn, so I am not going to repeat on that. We are going to focus on the use of apostrophe S to show possessions. Possessions or kepunyaan or hak milik, right? Okay, wait. So... The objective for the lesson, by the end of the les this lesson, you guys should be able to use apostrophe S to show possession correctly. And you guys should also be able to make simple sentences uh, to talk about possessions 
or uh, belongings. Okay. Untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. So, what does kepunyaan means? What does possessions mean? Okay, it is, uh, kepunyaan is, macam nak cakap? It, it used, a form, a word that is used to show a relationship between people or group of people, countries or animals with another thing. Untuk menunjukkan hubungan sesuatu benda dengan sesuatu benda. Alright, so uh, for example, um, this mouse, is, uh, this is my mouse. So my is showing possession. Okay. Next. Okay, so uh, I'm sure most of you have already learned about possessive pronouns. Huh. Possessive pronouns are words such as my, her, his, its, our and their. So if you use possessive pronouns untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan something to show possession, you don't need to use apostrophe s anymore, okay? Because possessive pronouns ni already send the message out already. It already tells you that uh, it, it already shows possession by itself. Uh, possessive pronouns dah memang menunjukkan, maksud dia dah memang menunjukkan kepunyaan. So you don't need to add apostrophe s. Because apostrophe s pun maksud dia untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. So nanti dia akan jadi double, alright? So if you have already have possessive pronouns, you don't need uh, apostrophe s. Clear so far? Faham tak? Comment sikit, faham tak? <laughs> okay, let me check. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yes, teacher. Okay, yes. Uh, okay. Okay, yes, teacher. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Very good. Hopefully you can still see my slide. Later I will try again to uh, make it bigger. But for now, let's make do with this. All right. So, if not used with possessive pronouns, when do we use apostrophe s? Bila kita nak guna apostrophe s? Okay. So, there are a few ways on uh, uh, when you can use apostrophe s. Okay. For example, it's with when you have proper nouns, nak tunjukkan kepunyaan untuk proper nouns. Proper nouns you have learned last week with Madam Lim. Madam Lim, I think, ha, proper nouns is all the words that start with um, capital letters. Okay, it's a special name for something. Okay, and then we have we use apostrophe S for singular nouns. Okay, nouns yang ada satu sahaja. And we also use apostrophe S for irregular plural nouns. Alamak, apa dia irregular plural nouns ni? Don't worry, later I will explain. But actually, macam year 5 and year 6, or year 4, I think, you uh, year 4 maybe not yet lah. But I think year 5 and 6 have already learned this before. So, if you have already known this, just um, anggap this one as your revision, alright? Um, so, let's look at these one by one. The first one, plural noun. Okay, so a plural noun pula. Proper noun. So proper noun are special names for something like for example, me, Zeti, Kangar, Chomel, if it's for a cat, one utama, name of a place, of a shopping mall, McDonald, my favorite place in the world. Huh. So these are all known as proper nouns. Okay, kata nama has and they all start with capital letter. So, and then if you want to show possession about this proper noun, contoh you all nak cakap uh, Zeti punya, uh, Zeti punya something, Zeti punya laptop for example or Zeti punya phone. Ha, okay, kuat pula ke cakap? <laughs> Ada terkejut lagi. Zeti punya phone. Nah, so how do you say Z? You cannot just say Zeti phone. That is wrong. Okay, you need to put something in between to show relationship between Zeti and the phone. Ha. Alright, later we will see. That is when apostrophe S come. So, Kanga and Chomel semua tekan. Alright, so how do you put apostrophe S? Simple. Just put apostrophe S at the end. Uh, tak ada special method. 
tak ada secret recipe. They just put it at the end, just like that. For example, if you want to say Zeti punya telephone, you just say Zeti's phone, okay? And if you want to say about McDonald's punya French fries or curly fries are so good, you can say McDonald's apostrophe S. McDonald's punya curly fries are so good, for example. Okay, so the next one, we also, okay, but this is a special case. What if, okay, what if the proper noun, kata nama has to, already ends with an S. Ha, kat hujung dia dah ada S dah. So what do we do? Ha, okay, so kalau it already has an S, just simple, you put, you, there are two ways. For example, uh, first you put apostrophe S also. The next one, you just put apostrophe because there is already an S at the end. Uh, so, uh, but the second, uh, the second method, the second technique, which is apostrophe S, is the most common one. So, for example, we have Perlis, so it will become Perlis's. <laughs> and then Hanis will become Hanis's book, for example. Hanis's book. You need to sound the S. Okay, for example, like this, it will become Zetis. It won't become Zeti anymore. It will sound Zetis. Kangars, Chomels, mm, One Utamas, and McDonald's. Ah, like that. You must sound the S. Okay. And, for example, Suraya's new cat new cat like the new car is expensive suraya's new car is expensive okay so it shows that suraya punya kereta adalah mahal kepunyaan kereta siapa kereta suraya and then mcdonald's burgers are so are delicious so, dia cakap pasal McDonald's punya burger, bukan burger kedai lain, only McDonald's are delicious. And then we have Kangar's new stadium is massive. Kangar's new stadium is massive. Okay. Next. We also use apostrophe S uh, for a singular noun. This one easy. Now yang ada satu sahaja. For example, we have girl, um, cat. Yeah, you can read on the screen. Girl, cat, teacher, what's that? Mother, student, car, shop. Uh, these are all singular noun. Yang ada satu sahaja. Because there's no S at the end. I hope by now you already know about singular and plural nouns. Okay. If not, you can watch back on my first live class. <laughs> Go find it on my channel later after this, after this. Not right now. Okay. Singular and plural nouns. <laughs> and then so, to put an apostrophe S to show possession for a singular noun is also simple. Just put apostrophe S at the end of the word. Alright, so for example, girl will become girls, Ka, uh, cat cat will become cats, shops, cars, mothers, students, teachers. Okay, you need to sound the S. Moving on, example. The girl's aunt is beautiful. The girl's aunt is beautiful. Huh? Mak sedara, mak sedara, keluar pula perlis I. Mak sedara, uh, budak perempuan ni, budak perempuan ni punya mak sedara is beautiful. Cantik, okay. And then, the dog's tail is short. The dog's tail is short. Dog tu punya tail pendek. Okay, so it shows kepunyaan. Dog tu punya tail. Okay, and then the third example, the school's Canteen is clean. The school's canteen is clean. Faham tak so far? Do you get it? Let me see. Um, am I going too fast? Uh, the girl's 
mother is smart. Jasmine Preet said the girl's mother is smart. Very good. The boy's handsome is not showing possession. Ha, one more tip that I forgot to tell you. If you want to know whether apostrophe S to showing possession or is it contraction, the difference is when you want to show possession, after apostrophe S, you must follow it with a noun, something yang dimiliki oleh subjek tu. Okay, so you cannot put adjective. It will become different. Like for example, if you say that is beautiful, <laughs> it won't show possession. It will mean that is beautiful. So that is wrong for possessive. Okay, you can say that is followed by noun. For example, that is again. For example, I only have this. That is uh, ukulele. So ukulele is a noun. So that is apostrophe s ukulele means that is punya ukulele. Okay, if you follow it by something else, it will become, it will not become possessive anymore. Paham tak? Do you guys understand? I know it can be a little bit confused, uh, confusing with contractions yang is, is semua tu. But I hope you guys can understand. Uh, the school's library is clean, just been Preet say. Yes, betul. Um, what else? Anybody has any example that you guys try out? Uh, who else? Okay. Genius Broom. Wow, did you watch Harry Potter? Yeah, Genius Broom. That shows possession. Very good. Ha, genie punya broom. Harry Potter's wand. Harry Potter apostrophe as wand. So it shows possession that Harry Potter punya wand. Okay, faham? The flower is beautiful is not right because that is not showing possession. Okay. Uh, Syed say the school is... Is close also is not right. That is not showing possession. Kena tunjukkan uh, kepunyaan, hak milik, belongings. Um, ada lagi nak try? The girl's room is clean. Who said that? Let me check. Uh, Nor? Yeah. Shifa said the girl's room is clean. Ah, That's right. That's betul. Because it shows possession yang the girl tu punya bilik is clean. Okay, and then the teacher's cat is very friendly. Yes, betul. Uh, Adip say the teacher's cat is very friendly. Yes, true. Good job, good job. Anybody else? Madam Zet, wow. <laughs> Jasmine Preet say Madam Zeti's mansion is beautiful. Hopefully, I get one day the mention will be a true story. <laughs> but thank you. Yes, that's right. Your sentence is correct. Uh, nanti ada quiz ke? Ah, jeng, jeng, jeng. Ada ke quiz? Uh, what else? Madam, I still not understand clearly. Ah, okay, stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, ada lagi, ada lagi, ada lagi. This is my book. This is my book. That's a different story because you already have my. Dah ada my kat situ. Dah ada possessive pronoun. My already is already showing kepunyaan. So you, you cannot use possessive apostrophe as too. So that's not right. Uh, okay, wait. That neighbors is very. Madam Zetis. Mother is smart. Madam Zetis mother is smart. Yes, ah, that one is right. It shows possession. Madam Zeti punya uh, ibu. Madam Zeti punya mother. Okay, the cat is tall. Am I right? That is a different story. Don't get confused dengan is tau. Apostrophe S di sini does not mean is. Dia bukan maksud is. Dia memang maksud dia apostrophe S sahaja. And it is used to show possession. ah Untuk kata nama khas. Sebab kalau kita guna my, his, her, kita tahu dah yang tu maksudnya saya punya, awak punya. Tapi bila kita ada nama, contoh Zeti, kita tak tahu kalau kita kata Zeti phone tu, Zeti tu bukan maksud Zeti punya. So kita kena put punya tu. Ha, so punya tu in English untuk nama, 
apostrophe s. That's all. The cat is tall. I understand. Jasmine Pritt, very good. You understand. Never mind. Let's see the next one. Okay, so the next one, apostrophe S is also used for irregular plural nouns. Ah, so kalau nak tunjuk kepunyaan untuk plural noun yang irregular. Irregular means that noun yang when it is one and when you want to make it plural atau banyak, it change spelling or it doesn't change at all. Uh, for example, mice. Uh, who can tell me? Mice is plural if you have more than one. What is the singular? One. One mice, what do we call one mice? Can anybody tell me in the chat section? Uh, met <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Ah, very good. Ashraf. Ashraf Ayan said mouse. Ah, betul? Mouse is the singular for mice. If you have a lot of mouse, you don't say mouses. That's wrong. So, mouse is, it will become mice. So, mice, nampak tak dia berbeza ejaan, dia punya spelling. It is totally different. That's why we call it irregular plural nouns. Dia tak sama dengan yang asal dia. Okay. Mm. Yes. And then children. Kalau singular is child. Betul? So when it's plural, it becomes children. So that's why it's irregular. It's not the same. Okay. Next we have women because it's spelled with M-E-N. So that means it's plural. Banyak. Banyak orang perempuan. Okay, uh, yes, very good, Jasmine Pritt. The singular for children is child. Okay, and then woman, kalau satu, the spelling is W-O-M-A-N. So here, it's M-E-N. So it's plural, banyak. And then ship. Ship is irregular because singular pun ship, plural is also ship. It does not change. Ship dengan fish, ha. Satu ship, banyak pun ship. Tak boleh tambah S. Fish pun sama. Okay. And then the next one, policeman. Ha, this one senang lah. M-E-N. Kalau spelled with M-E-N, it means a lot. If it's spelled with M-A-N, it means one. Faham tak? Ingat tak lagi? Uh, yeah, policeman. Very good. Let me check. Okay. Next. So, for irregular plural nouns, the same, very easy. You just put apostrophe S at the end. For example, my sis, bunyikan S dia. Children's, women's, ships, policemen's. Okay. Uh, faham tak? Check lagi, check lagi. Ha, siapa cita-cita nak jadi policeman kat sini? <laughs> Yes, teacher, it's very interesting. Thank you so much. All right. For example, jom kita tengok example dia pula. The children's toys are everywhere. Ha. So, kita tahu kat sini apostrophe S shows possession which means that the children punya toys. The toys belong to the children. So, that's why you put apostrophe S. The children's toys are everywhere. The second one, the ship's Legs are short. The sheep's legs are short. Macam tang twister pula. The sheep's legs are short. The sheep's legs. <laughs> so the sheep kat sini, it means plural. And then you just put apostrophe S to show dia punya possession. Kepunyaan dia. So kaki siapa? Kaki sheep tu. Ah, uh, Bukan kaki lembu ke apa ke. Alright, next. The women's bags. Sebab orang banyak, of course bag tu banyak. Okay, so the women's bags are from the same boutique. Uh, the women, the women's bags are from the same boutique. I know sometimes it's hard for us to maintain sounding the S. So, but for example, like Malay, we don't usually have S at the end. Banyak, 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 
Kan? That's why sometimes when you read in English, you often forgot to sound the S. But then in English, S tu ada meaning. That's why your teacher said, sound the S, say the S. But I guess you need, you just need more practice. Okay, lama-lama nanti dah biasa sebut S banyak-banyak. Okay? So, next one. What about plural noun? Takkan kita nak tinggalkan plural noun? Okay, let me check the comment first. The policeman's the policeman bag is gone. Yes, the children's school bag is dirty. The children's school bag is dirty. Uh, it's in a way right. Tapi kalau macam logically the children's tapi school bag tu ada satu je. So kita patutnya kena letak school bag tu banyak lah. Okay, uh, and then the policeman's bag is gone. Siapa tu? Nurul Alia Aisyah. The policeman's bag is gone. Betul. Uh, the side pun said the same thing. The policeman's bag is gone. Betul. It shows possession. So, but what about plural nouns? Takkan plural nouns tak boleh guna untuk tunjuk possession kan? So, let's see. I always forgot. Okay, so plural nouns, if you remember, plural nouns already have S at the end. So you don't need to put any more S, you just put the apostrophe. Just letak comma ke atas tu kecil, cendah nak tik kat situ je. Tak payah S dah. Okay, the mice is, uh, can I have the quizzes? Um, boy, kita belajarlah dulu and then baru kita buat quiz. If we have quiz. Okay, so for example, plural nouns like pupils, girls, dogs, classes, boys, semua ni dah ada S at the end. So tak payah pening-peningkan kepala and belit-belitkan lidah to put more S. So you just need to put apostrophe, simple as that. So it will become pupils, girls, dogs, classes, boys but with apostrophe. Okay, when you talk, of course, orang tak nampak apostrophe too, but the speaker will um, automatically understand lah. But in writing, it is important for you to remember if you want to show possession, you need this apostrophe S or apostrophe. Okay, dalam writing, you need to be careful. Okay, so for example, the boy's father is an engineer. So the boys banyak nak tunjuk ayah dia. So you just put apostrophe, okay? Is an engineer. And then the car's doors have been painted. The car's doors have been painted. Sudah dicat. And the third example, the pupils' homework. Oh, sorry. The pupils' homework are on my table. The pupils' homework are on my table. Okay, so kerja sekolah siapa? Kerja sekolah the pupils. Okay, very good. Uh, Harry's Potter. Wait, I saw Harry Potter. Harry Potter's clock. Aliano Shuhada. Harry Potter clock is invisible. Harry's, Harry, <laughs> madam yang tongue twisted. Harry Potter's clock is invisible. Yes, ha. nampak tak kat situ? Is the lain. Apostrophe as the lain. Sebab apostrophe S tu dia guna untuk show possession dekat Harry Potter. And then you need one more is untuk show, untuk gabungkan ayat tu. Harry's, Harry's lagi. Harry Potter's clock is invisible. Harry Potter punya clock invisible. Good job. Uh, Aliano Shohada. Is it right? Okay. Very good. So, did you know if you have two names? Ha, kamu nak show possession untuk dua orang yang ada dua nama. Contoh kat sini, Yaya and Amy. So, what do you think? What do you put the apostrophe S? Adakah dekat the nama yang pertama, nama yang kedua? Or tak payah letak? Atau letak kedua-duanya? Macam mana? Ada siapa-siapa tahu? Anybody, any one of you knows? Where do you put the apostrophe S if you have two names? Anyone knows? Uh, Yaya 
Lakshmi said Yaya and Amy's apostrophe S. Is that right? Uh, uh, Aisha Amir said nama yang kedua. Betul ke? Betul ke nama yang kedua? Are you sure? Uh, siapa lagi? Jasmine Pratt. What did you say? Wait, let me see. The second name. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, Nur Fatia, Nur, wait, Nur Fatin Alia said Amy, letak dekat Amy Second name, most of you said second name Are you sure? Tak payah letak Which one? Yaya and Amy's Ah, so jeng, jeng, jeng Yes, you put it at the second name So it will become Yaya and Amy's Okay, so Yaya and Amy's house is just around the corner. Yaya and Amy's house is just around the corner. Okay, so you put it at the second name untuk tunjukkan yang house tu kepunyaan Yaya dan Amy. Okay, very good to those of you who answered correctly. Good job lah you guys. So awesome. Okay, let's see what time. Uh, okay, let's try a few exercises and then we can go to quizzes. Yes, we do have quizzes today. Okay, but let's try a few examples first. You can answer this in the chat section. Okay, although there's a, there's a answer over here. Let me hide the answer first. Okay, so that nobody can see the answer. <laughs> All right, so can you see the slide? Can you see the question? Let me check also here. Can you see it? Can you see my slide? Okay, I, I think the the writing is big enough for you to see. So there, should, there, should, there shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Some of you have already seen the answer and then already on phone already. Okay, so number one, Farah is, we have Aina. So Farah is... Aina, da, 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 cousin. How can you change Aina and to show Aina punya cousin? What do you do? Yes, Aisha Ame said, okay, no, Aina's, Nor Fatin Alia Batrisha pun said, uh, Farah is Aina's cousin. So Aina's, just put Aina apostrophe S. Good job. All right, next slide. Let's meet at the for lunch. And nama restaurant tu adalah John. The name of the restaurant is John. Okay, dia punya, tuan punya tu letak nama restaurant tu nama dia sendiri. So you can say macam mana? Let's meet at blank for lunch. What do you do? Yes, wait. I saw somebody. Uh, yeah, Muhammad Atif said John's. Uh, Asha Fryan said John's, very good, John apostrophe S. Jasmine Pritt said John apostrophe S. Anyone else? Said also said John's, good job, most of you got it right. Senang kan actually? It's easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so very good. So the answer is John's, okay? If I can make this slide uh, bigger just now, there will be an animation of the answer coming in. But unfortunately, technicalities, error happen. <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind. Okay. Next one, the third question. Did you read blank news? Uh, uh, apostrophe S can also show kepunyaan untuk time, untuk masa or hari. So this one macam mana? How do you write? Easy peasy je ni. Awak baca tak berita semalam? Semalam punya berita. Kenapa saya gelak gelak besar tu? Ha 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 ha. Uh, uh, semua orang masih jawab John lagi. Okay, this one. Ah, uh, Tristan said yesterday's. Apostrophe said say yesterday's. Uh, anyone else? Ha, Haisa said yesterday. Uh, Nur Sharafina, yesterday's, yes, very good. Did you read yesterday's news, yesterday apostrophe? 
S. Okay, the uh, what's that? The sandwich might not to apa everyone senang je ni everyone apa this one try and answer this one uh, everyone is still on yesterday okay okay yes adip also say yes correct yesterday is yes oh laju sai uh, atif dulu au oh, banyak orang laju sebenarnya <laughs> alia dana okay everyone good job Everyone, you just put apostrophe S. Okay, very good. Easy. This one, wait, this one easy. Let's see. This one. How do you answer this one? Blank father is an English teacher. Where do you put the apostrophe S? Anybody can answer that one? Blank father is an English teacher. After this video quizzes, uh, this and then one more. Uh, yay. Alia Muhammad Faizal got it right. Said got it right. Tristan got it right. Very good. It's Muaz and Hana and then apostrophe S. You put apostrophe S at the second name. Very good. Yay. Yay. Just with Brit Yay, everyone. Got it right. See, it's so easy. Okay, after this one, we do quizzes, okay? Uh, so, the blank cat is missing. So, we have plural noun here. We have girls. So, how do you do it? How do you show possession for plural noun girls? Kat mana nak letak? Okay, or some of you already answered. Jasmine Preet said girls and apostrophe. Alia Muhammad Faisal said girls apostrophe. Tristan also girls apostrophe. Nor Ariana also said girls apostrophe. Yes, good job. If it's plural noun, they don't have the S dah. You don't need to put any more S. You just put apostrophe. Okay, well done everybody. So, I think uh, we go for... A break and during the break get ready for the piece. Okay. Okay, Madam Sati. Okay, let's take a short commercial break. Okay, please stay tuned. See you later. Tushan online percuma. Tushan online percuma. Layari ww.academy youtuber bagi mengikuti Tuition online secara percuma. Prasekolah, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah. Semua ada di Akademi Youtuber. Rujuk jadual di laman sesawang www.akademiyoutuber.com Semoga masa terluang anak-anak anda diisi dengan sebaiknya. Tuition online percuma, mestilah Akademi Youtuber. Hi. Okay, welcome back. Okay, Madam Zati, can we continue with the lesson? Yeah, sure. Wait, let me share the quizzes screen first. Okay, all right. Okay, this one. Very eager waiting for your quiz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can Madam Suryani help? There's the first one, the first quiz link. In the comment. Oh, so fast. Okay, you guys keep joining. I forgot to share the audio. Jadi main tak shock pula. So, I'll share the screen one more time. Keep joining first. Join, join, join. 
Uh, okay. Cancel. Okay, let's see how many people are there. Okay. Hai, dah tak ada dah yang join. How many do we have? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Still waiting. Okay, anybody, any more joining? 69. Ada lagi? Alright, we give what, like one more minute. I mean a few more seconds. One more minute. Okay, is everyone in? I don't want audio. Why? I'm in. Okay, good job. I'm in. Okay, wait a few more seconds and then we start. <laughs> Okay, we got 70 something already. I think that's it. Good. Anybody else joining? 74. Any more? All right, let's start. We start, okay? Ready. Wow, who's leading? Wow, still going, still going, come on. Okay, we give a few more minutes. Wow, who's leading? Good job. A few more minutes. I'll give you guys a few more minutes. Okay, now who can beat Cutie? <laughs> Cutie is on top right now. Okay, one more minute.
Wow, so this worry is number two already. Anybody can beat number three. Wow. <laughs> Okay, one more minute, one more minute. I get so excited, that's why I keep giving one more minute. Okay, well, I promise you one more minute. <laughs> Yay! All right, we end it right here. Let's see who wins. Oh no, it's crashing. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, but anyway, you said previously that uh, the first one is... Okay, I'm so sorry. Huh? Crashing already. Ne? What happened to the line today? Okay, sorry for that. But I think you guys have seen um the winners just now right okay i think it's alia alia and then it's cutie and then it's sateswari i am at number fifth yeah no worries it's okay if you got a few questions wrong it's okay never mind don't worry okay so let me share my slide again because we are about to reach the end of our lesson. Okay. All right, let's see. We don't okay, so we have around three more minutes. I think uh, Madam Srani can help paste the uh, certificate link in the chat section first. Okay, so go ahead and redeem your certificate. Make sure to use your EDD email account. Okay, the only way to access and redeem your certificate is by using EDD email account. I think Madam Serenity has already posted the link to apply for EDD email account if you don't have yet and also you can also find the link in the description of this video also if you missed the link just now but go ahead and redeem your CGL please make sure that you type in your names and all in your information correctly and the code access is hashtag kelas ayu edd all caps semua huruf besar Hashtag kelas ayu EDD. So, boleh tak? Dapat tak kod access semua? No conti, Tristan, I'm so sorry. Because we don't have time. But in maybe next week, ada lagi kelas dengan Madam Zeti, we can do a lot of conti. Ha, kita take the lah, gile-gile. This week quizzes, next time conti. Sijil ada kat atas. Okay, so remember the code access is hashtag kelas ayu EDD. All right. So, uh, please, 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 please vote for your two beautiful KPs. So, vote for us. You can vote for Madam Zeti. Let me link. GG.GG. I think uh, my friend will help paste the voting link in the chat section also. Please be. Uh, ikhlas tak minta banyak pun. Teacher minta lima bintang je. Okay. Uh, and then boleh lah. If you want to give me 10, you can vote two times. You want to give me 500, you can vote for 100 times. Boleh. So don't forget to vote for Madam Zeti and Miss Ain. Okay. Because that will make us so happy. Okay. And jen, jen, jen. as always, right now we are currently running the ICON EDD Junior Program. I mean, contest, test, ujian. I don't know what can you call it. But it's an award. Ah, I think it's like macam Piala Kejohanan, ICON EDD Junior. So, most of you have already registered, I think. But if you haven't, you can find out 
how to register at the website, IU website, www.academyyoutuber.com. Or I think I have the link over here. Do we have the link? I forgot already. <laughs> I think, yeah, we have the link, right? The icon ED date link. Can teachers really any help? Okay. So if you haven't registered, you can go ahead and register. If you have already registered, please make sure you enter your correct ID, the J and then your number. Okay. And then this, this, uh, this, this, uh, will run four weeks. And this one is the first round, the first week. Are you, we answer the first week when your questions, you can try again and again, and then there will be the second set of questions, the third set of questions, the fourth set of questions, and then the final one, the fifth one is the final, final one to determine who is the icon ED date junior. You can enter for all subjects, but you can only be chosen for one subject, which means you can enter as many subjects as you like, but you will be chosen only for one subject, okay? So don't miss out on that. Uh, you will get, I don't know what price you will get, but I hear that is going to be lumayan. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> but try out, guys. And the questions are all basically about all the live tuition classes that you guys have all participated before, okay? And if you don't know, you can go watch the videos again, and, or you can, if you have already answered, you can try it one more time. Or you can answer as many times as you like, all right? So, what time is it now? Oh, it's already past 4 to tea. But anyway, <coughs> thank you for joining my class today. I hope you guys had fun. Although this topic is really simple. So, hopefully everyone could understand uh, a post, the use of apostrophe S to show possession untuk menunjukkan kepunyaan. It is easy but of course nothing comes natural to you if you don't practice. So you can go ahead and find more practice, practice online or you can ask your teacher, okay, and stuff like that. So be sure to stay uh, with us because we have tomorrow's class with teacher Maggie, Wednesday with Miss Ain, Thursday with Madam Sumati and Friday with Madam Suryani. Uh, so be sure to check out the schedule at www.academyyoutuber.com. Okay, Madam Sumati, you can wrap up the session. Okay, uh, we are done with uh, today's session. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Madam Zeti, uh, for such an interesting class. I hope uh, the students over there learned uh, more about your topic. Okay, once again, I congratulate for you. Okay, good job. Okay, and uh, the students as well because they follow your class from beginning to the end. Okay, um, if you already redeemed the certificate, okay, please make sure you have uh, written your particulars uh, using capital letters. And today's uh, session is on uh, English lesson. Uh, for those uh, who not uh, join ED Day, okay, please uh, apply for ED Day uh, Junior Telegram. Okay, you can join uh, through the ED Day Telegram to get the account. Uh, once again, uh, I would like to thank Madam Zeti for the lesson today. Okay, boys and girls, uh, please support uh, Madam Zeti by clicking the subscribe button and as well as other teachers here. Okay, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Uh, we have uh, another class uh, tomorrow with uh, Teacher Maggie. Uh, mm -hmm. Wednesday will be... Uh, Miss I, I and Thursday mm -hmm. will be mine <laughs> and Friday will be with uh, teacher Suryani. Okay, that's all for today. Okay, Madam uh, Zeti, you want to say anything before we leave the session? Do you have anything to <laughs> say? Think, mm, thank you so much everyone who joined me today and thank you to all my friends who helped me out today also to Madam Sumati and Madam Suryani and hopefully this lesson is very help helpful. If this lesson is easy for you to understand, please do give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> this one, not this one, this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think that's all. Okay, uh, teacher Suryani, want to say anything? See teacher you Suryani. soon.
See you soon. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Tuition online percuma. Tuition online percuma. Layari www.academy youtuber bagi mengikuti tuition online secara percuma. Pra sekolah, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah. Semua ada di Academy Youtuber. Rujuk jadual di laman sesawang www.academyyoutuber.com Semoga masa terluang anak-anak anda diisi dengan sebaiknya. Tuition online percuma, mestilah Academy Youtuber.